We're over the Andover subdivision in Thornbury, Thornbury Township, Delaware County. This is about a 42 acre parcel of land. It's a former apple orchard uh, developed for residential housing. There are 39 single family homes on this parcel. The entire subdivision is zoned R1 residential. And the subdivision consists or is supposed to consist of a minimum of 40% open space, uh, preserved open space, supposedly in, in perpetuity, but a significant part of that open space has been seized by Sunoco through eminent domain for the construction of hazardous, highly volatile liquids pipelines. Just to the, we're at the south end of the neighborhood here and just off the edge of the property is a sports bar in view here to the right of the, of the frame. The valve site in the picture here contains valve sets for the two for two 1930s era pipelines that have been repurposed to carry ha uh, hazardous, highly volatile liquids. One is Mariner East one, and the other is the 12-inch workaround pipeline. The mulched area here at the at the to the right of the screen is the smoking area for the adjacent sports bar. It's about 10 feet or eight feet or so from the valve site and it's above it so it looks down onto it. The road that's in view here is State Route 352. It's a heavily trafficked roadway. Um, this is a driveway which Sunoco constructed from the state highway into the residential subdivision. You can see the houses here. Uh, these are all Andover residences to the left of the screen and straight ahead is some of the property which Sunoco has condemned for the hazardous, highly volatile liquids pipelines. With respect to the valve site, valve sites are known points of likely, uh, likely failure occurrences, jeopardize not only, not only the subdivision, but uh, people to a distance of perhaps a mile and a quarter, perhaps farther, as well as motorists on State Route 352. Um, this view right here is the emergency access road for the subdivision. Uh, Sunoco has made it impassable by emergency vehicles or by even passenger vehicles, which means that residents here have um, only a single way in or out of the neighborhood at any given time. The entire length uh, that we're traveling down here is about 2,000 feet. So it's a long distance. Every residence in this neighborhood is 800 feet or closer to this highly volatile liquids pipeline. Uh, some are within 100 feet of the pipeline or the valve site or, or both. The second crossing roadway coming into view here is another state highway. It's State Route 926 or Street Road. And this is the HDD entry point for what I believe is the longest HDD stretch anywhere in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> From this point, um, they're attempting to thread the pipeline to the north nearly, nearly 7,000 feet. Uh, you can see the proximity of the residences uh, here. This is Fallbrook Lane, one of, the, one of the interior streets of the subdivision. Again, the intersection of State Route 352 and, uh, and 926. Ahead, where the red roofed building is, that's actually West Town Township in the neighboring county of Chester. Uh, State Route 926 in this area is also the county line. From this higher elevation here, uh, you can start to get a view of the many, many residences um, and uh, <clears throat> vehicle traffic passing in very close proximity to the pipeline. So this is not a concern just for the residents of the neighborhood, but, but for the much wider community uh, as well.